Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create grunge texture and apply it to text or a graphic. Let's open a new document, select the type tool and type anywhere you like. Now click on the selection tool to make sure it is selected. Next press the Ctrl and N keys on your keyboard to create a new document and then press Enter. And you should see a new document at the top toolbar. Now we will create a grunge texture. For this you will need a JPEG file of any photograph that represents some kind of grunge pattern. To bring your photo into this document go to File, Place, find your photo and click Place. Now click, hold and drag to position the photo over the entire artboard. Next we will trace this image to get only the dark lines for our texture. To do this go to Window and select the Image Trace option. Make sure the mode is set to black and white. Now check the preview box and wait to view the tracing result. If you prefer more white in your texture, move the threshold slider to the left. If you prefer more black, move it to the right instead. Just experiment and see what works for you. I'm going to keep it at about 120. Next we need to get rid of all the white leaving only black. To do this click on the arrow to open the advanced pull down menu and make sure the ignore white is checked. This will set white color fills to none. Now press the Ctrl, Shift and D keys on your keyboard to see it on a transparent background. Next we need to convert this traced object into paths. To do this press the Expand button from the top toolbar. Now let's change the fill to white. Next we will bring this traced image to our previous document. To do this first select everything and then press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it. Now click on the first document we've created to open it. With the text still selected, open the transparency window and double click on this grayed out thumbnail to create an opacity mask. Uncheck the clip box to see the text and press the Ctrl and V keys on your keyboard to paste the texture we've created over this text. Because the clipping mask and the fill color are set to white, we can't see anything. To make it visible, we need to change the fill color to 100% black. To do this, open the color window and now click on this little icon in the upper right corner. Select CMYK and move all the sliders to the right to get the rich black. If you wish, you could place a different texture over the existing text to get a different effect. Or you could copy and paste the existing texture, scale it and rotate it to get a different look. I'm going to undo it. Let's add a background to it. First select the texture and then open the transparency window. Now select the text thumbnail to open the layers panel. Click on the create new layer icon, make sure the new layer is selected and move it under the text layer. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Let's open the swatches window and select a different color. If you wish you can still make changes to your text or add a different texture for example. To do this make sure the text is selected and like before open the transparency panel, select the clipping mask thumbnail, now open the sub layers in layers opacity mask panel, lock the existing textures and turn off their visibility. And like before, open a document with a different texture you've created 
and copy it. Then go back to the first document with the text and paste it. Now repeat the same process like we did before. Open the color window and move all the sliders to the right. Now reposition it if needed. Then go to the transparency window and select the text thumbnail to stop editing the opacity mask. And of course, you could add extra designs and either group them with the existing text and add the same texture to all, or select your design and add a different texture to it, following the same steps like we did with the text. First make sure your design is selected, then open a document with a new texture, copy it. Now go back to the previous document, make sure the opacity thumbnail is selected, uncheck the clipping box, paste the new texture over your design, reposition if needed, and change the fill to true black. Thanks for watching, bye bye.